You. That's the exact same question I have for you. What's going on here? Can either of you care to explain what I just saw here? Rini? It was an accident. Uh, there's nothing to explain. Totally my fault, Mr. Marco. I should watch where I'm going. See, the stress got to my head and I was rushing to the office library to... I, I gave a new deadline for that Makili case. Exactly. Stress makes me clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> How will you be able to cope when you get a workload like mine? Uh, well, just make sure you get somebody to clean up the floor. Yes, Mr. Moore. And you're going to have your coffee to field. <laughs> of course. Um, Mrs. Kibo is in your office to see you. Is there something I should know about? In regards to? Well, never mind. Thanks. Magdalene Cable. What a wonderful surprise. What are you doing here? I called your receptionist to let me get in without an appointment. Don't fire her, she's a lovely lady. You don't need an appointment to see me. I'm afraid in this case I do. What's the matter? I need a damn good lawyer. I'm being sued by a former employee. Sexual harassment claims. I fired him due to his lack of discipline and the threat he posed to me and the rest of the female staff. Female details would do. Speaking about this makes me very uncomfortable. His performance had drastically dropped and I had to pass his accounts to more competent and reliable managers. This infuriated him. He attacked me in my office. He assaulted me. Mwako, he even tried to rape me. Why not for the security man hearing I'm my so cries? Sorry. And now, he claims that I dismissed him unlawfully and wants compensation for it. Did you report the matter to the police? I'm the marketing director at Cubes and Circles. Such a matter would reflect negatively on me and the company. The media would be all over the story. I did what I thought was best at that moment. I let the matter slide and I fired him. I regret it. It was a good judgment call. I would have done the same in your situation. I didn't save the situation. I'm in worse trouble now. Sexual harassment suit. Oh, that's for me to handle. Yes, come in. You sent food? Yes, I did. Please come in. Cubes and Circles advertising are your clients. Yes, I handle all the legal matters. Well, Magdalene Kibo is uh, the marketing director of Cubes and Circles advertising. A pleasure to meet you. Same here. We do a lot of our correspondence via email. I'm Elsie Kamona. Ah, Elsie. Finally, the efficient lawyer who handles all our legal matters. I must commend you for our splendid job. Thank you. Unfortunately, Elsie, Margaret is here on a rather sensitive matter concerning herself and uh, her company. She's being accused of uh, sexual harassment by a former employee. I'd like you to handle the case. Elsie is, uh, so to speak, the expert in such cases. You and your company will be well represented. I'm sure I will. 
I have some free time right now. Do you have some time to spare to discuss the case? You know, cover the basics? I'd like to start right away. No wasting time. I like that. Mm -hmm. I have as much time as you require. Good. Thank you. Good. If uh, the two of you could get together, okay. that would be good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Marco. Don't mention it. Please. Mm -hmm. Send the clients their bills. The job is complete. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Turn that into an enemy, or is she just having a bad day? I think she's having a bad day. I think it's the former. You two were best of friends. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. From best of friends to shoving and her spilling your coffee, did you do something to upset her? You broke up with her. You two were dating. There's nothing to break up if there's nothing going on in the beginning, okay? Oh, come on. You two are having a thing. You know what, I'm off. I'll be back in the afternoon. Can you just stop spreading such rumors? I'm <laughs> dumb. Oh, yo, I chunga sana. So I'll go up and see. Nasai. Okay. Hmm. Is the best I can do, eh? Oh, okay. Anyway, all right, very well. Try another cheaper company, but uh, I know you'll still come back to Cubes and Circles. What? All right. Oh, fine, check your uh, inbox in about two minutes. I don't think it would be a good idea. What? Talking to her. Before the trial ends is not a good idea. I just wish I didn't have to come this far. Yes. Anyway, it's been a long time coming. Let's do this. You made the right decision in this case. I know. Thanks. Hello? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I totally agree with you. Tanzania is a good market to move to. Uh-huh. Yeah, the demographics are quite good. But, however, I'd suggest we exhaust Kenya fully. Yeah, yeah, as it is, it's supporting the plan. All right. In the matter of Michael Olomo versus Magdalene Kebo, are both parties ready to commence the proceedings? We are, my lord. Yes, we are, Your Honor. Michael Olomo. A young, fresh graduate was employed at Cubes and Circles Advertising. He was eager to learn, eager to please, eager to grow. He did what he had to do. So, when the marketing director approached him with the intention of having an office romance with him, again, his eager spirit got the better of him, and he succumbed. However, my lord, upon the relationship coming to an end, Michael found himself ousted from his work. His accounts reassigned, his commission slashed. Eventually, he was terminated. 
from his employment because of ending an affair with his boss. An affair, my Lord, that was doomed from the day it began. That is why we are here. This young man has been unlawfully terminated from his employment because of ending an illicit relationship with that woman. <clears throat> Magdalene Kibo is a wife, a mother, a successful career woman a marketing director of one of the largest advertising firms in Eastern Africa, Cubes and Circles, an accomplished woman. Her credentials are impeccable. It takes hard work and sacrifice to achieve what she has. On the other side, we have a young and restless man who fails to meet his expectations at work. He was dismissed simply because he underperformed. A few months later, he turns around and accuses his former employer of sexual harassment and starts making demands for monetary compensation. The scenario, Your Honor, is pretty obvious. The plaintiff is inclined to reap where he never sowed. He wants to make a quick buck by using the legal system and in the process tarnish the reputation of a successful and respected member of the society. Hello, sir. Yes? Mr. Kaina asked me to give this to you in person. He said he's very disappointed that the check you issued bounced. Bounced? Insufficient funds was the reason the bank gave for dishonoring the check. Michael Olomo. Cubes and Circles Advertising was your first employer right after college. Is that correct? Correct. I was employed as an account executive last year, March 1st. Please tell this court how you, a newly employed account executive, got to work with a marketing director. There is an induction program in the company. All the newbies move from department to department so that they can understand the importance of each sector of the company and how they synergize. And since I was an account representative, I was required to spend two days with the marketing director for the induction. So what did this induction with the marketing director entail? It involved attending meetings with her, assist her in preparing of her documents, being present while she made pitches to the big clients and so on. The entire process was a mentorship program, so it was very brief. I must confess I learned a lot during the induction. What happened after the induction was over? Did you continue working closely with her? Yes. Mrs. Kibo was very keen on the performance of the sales and marketing team. We worked on the same floor. That way, she could monitor every person's performance. How did the two of you get so close to the point of a steamy sexual relationship? Objection! The alleged affair has not been established. My lord, it is the basis of this suit. My learned friend should not feign surprise. The evidence presented in this trial will determine the rest. Objection overruled. Letter Percy. Please carry on, but let's have the evidence, huh? Please tell the court how the affair started. During my induction, I had accompanied her to one of the meetings with Avino Naturals Limited. We also did the presentation together. The meeting was very successful and a second one was scheduled, which I also attended. That meant uh, more time together and a lot of communication until the deal was struck? Yes. When the account was secured, she gave it to me to manage. It was quite an achievement. She later gave me some contacts to try out. 
I managed to secure a meeting with a big company, F and F, of which naturally I would ask her to accompany me. I was bringing in the big guns, which was another success. So, the two of you became a team? Sort of, sort of. When F and F was secured, we went for a celebratory dinner and drinks. From then on, she became more friendly to me, some flirting here and there. She asked me out for more drinks and she propositioned me and I decided to play along with it. Why did you decide to do so? She is the marketing director and saying no to her was, well, it didn't seem like a good idea then. I was just employed, assigned to big accounts. That of course meant a bigger paycheck. I earn a basic salary and commissions, which takes the bulk of it. Saying no to her was... Anyway, I was just afraid I would lose my job. For how long had she pursued you before you finally uh, gave in? For about six months, and on the seventh, something already was happening. She is a married woman, and you are still living with your parents, right? Yes. So, where were these acts of bodily relations between the two of you being carried out? She had a designated cottage where she paid rent every month. It was a secret rendezvous joint, the Miranda Hotel and Cottage. You ended the relationship five months later? Yes. Why? It was not an affair that I wanted to be in to begin with. My conscience was knowing me, and most importantly, I wanted to do right for myself and for my career. It had even reached a point that everybody knew me as Margaret Kibo's lapdog and not as Michael Lolomo. He even asked me to go back with a replacement check. Mr. Mwako? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, good. Uh, tell Mr. Karina I'm, I'm sorry. I, please, uh, pass my apologies to Mr. Karina. Thank you. Liz? Yes? Get me my banker. Yes? Thank you. Esther, how are you? Uh, <laughs> couldn't be better. Uh, Esther, look, I... Uh, there is a 450,000 check that I've issued. I... Uh, yes, I, I want you to extend my... Uh, yes, my overdraft. What? It's not possible. But why, Esther? Why? All right, okay. Okay, look, um, when the 450,000 check hits uh, at the bank, uh, please call me before you return it. Then we can discuss the options. All right. Thank you.
So what happened after you ended the affair? There was a drastic change in the accounts that I operated. Two of my most important accounts, they were reassigned to a newer and an inexperienced account representative. That of course meant that my salary was down by more than 70% due to the lack of commissions from the big account. And as for the accounts that we were working on, which eventually were brought on board, they were also taken away from me and the rookie was reassigned to them. My Lord, I'd like to present Mr. Lolomo's pay slips. In evidence, it shows how his commissions were slashed by 70% in the subsequent months after the affair. They will be marked as uh, the plaintiff's exhibit one. Other than the accounts being reassigned, what happened next? I was moved to the farthest corner in the office, facing a blank wall, which is usually for the newbies in the company. I was reduced to nothing. What about your reputation? I was the laughing stock in the company. The lapdog has finally been dumped. Did you try to resolve this radical change with Mrs. Fever? Yes. I requested for a meeting and she scheduled it late after working hours. While I was in her office, she closed the door and shut the blinds. She wanted us to get it on right there and then in her office. She stripped almost all her clothes and promised me that everything will get back to normal if I just cooperated. I said no and the next thing I knew, she was screaming rape and hitting me and tearing the rest of her clothes off. It totally confused me. And the next thing I know, the watchman was inside the room and he hit my head hard. I was down and out. When I gained conscience, I realized I was locked in the guard's room. In the morning, I received a call from the human resource manager informing me that I have been terminated from employment and that I should wait for my letter in my mail. Did you receive any complaints from the police? No. The termination letter contained a warning from the human resource manager informing me that I have been terminated from employment and I should not get anywhere on the premises or else legal and criminal actions will be taken against me. My Lord, this is the termination letter sent to Mr. Lolomo. It alleges that my client lacked discipline and is a danger to his co-workers. Have you been able to get any other kind of employment anywhere? No. I get called up for interviews, but when a reference is made, this matter comes up and all I get is a regret letter. So you have not been able to get any employment? You don't have any source of livelihood ever since Mrs. Kibo's entrapment? Objection! That hasn't been proved. Don't make conclusions, sir. That will be all. Young man, how many accounts did you bring into the company without the help of Mrs. Kibo? I had two big accounts, F and F, and Avino not F and F. Yes, yes, we are aware of the big accounts that were assigned to you. But my question is, how many accounts did you bring without the help of the marketing director, or any of the senior managers? Most of them were acquired with her help. So the answer is no. 
And I would be correct in saying that you are a non-performer whose hand needs to be held throughout. Objection. There is no reason for an objection, Your Honor. His performance is on file. Michael Olomo never brought a single account into the company without the help of Mrs. Kibo or one of the senior managers. I will be making reference to the defendant's list. So do you have any other question for the witness? Just one more, Your Honor. Proceed. If you were the marketing director and had a lazy, non-productive staff member under you, wouldn't you assign the big accounts to the more aggressive, more competent representative? Someone worthy of the commissions that you are busy whining about. No further questions. Hi David, been a while? Long time no see. Mm, how's it been? I'm good, super. Hey, if you say those words with such conviction, share the secret. There's nothing much to share really. <laughs> yeah, right. So is is my dad in? Yeah, go right in. Thank you. Someone is very excited. Oh yeah. It's a beautiful, good, perfect day today. What's up with everyone being so happy today? Liz, it's one of those days that you just can't explain. Days where just everything is fitting in so smoothly, life is just flowing on well. You know, a smile comes up on your face and despite everything that is going on. I mean days when uh, your wallet feels full. Oh, mine is weighing me down right now. Oh, David. Hey, Dad. Did I catch you at a bad time? No. This is your office as much as it is mine. Come on in. Thank you. Man, actually, I was just passing through. <laughs> it's unlike you to just pass through without a reason. I was going to get there. Um, I've actually been wanting to have a chat with you. But you're, you know, a busy man and it's not very easy to get trapped with you. Yes, I've been and still I'm quite straight. Um, the farm's going through some bumps. You'll overcome it, Dad. You always do. Thanks, son. Have a seat. You have my ear. What's this? Uh, my first clients, of course. Um, mm. I couldn't work on it on my own, so I decided, we, you know, we can work something with you, Daddy. Hmm. Impressive. Very impressive. You're learning to run before you can walk. It's pretty basic. It's, um, I am, or rather we are, an escrow agent in this case. Uh, sale and the purchasing of, of housing worth 21M. Good. Very good for a start. Does that mean you'll, you'll help me? Of course I will. And... The fee in this case will be all yours. Your first salary as a lawyer. Good stuff, Dad. Good stuff. <laughs> you know, son, you couldn't have come at a better time. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Julie Dina, how long did you work with Michael Adomo at Cubes and Circles? From the moment he joined the company, I was his immediate supervisor till the time I left Cubes and Circles and join an advertising firm as a marketing manager. As his immediate supervisor, how was he catching on when he joined the firm? He was a very quick learner, knew his staff, had a great presentation skill, and knew how to place a client. How long was the induction program? It varies. Usually, it's on an individual basis, depending how a person picks up. And uh, evaluations are carried out? Yes. The marketing director does the evaluation. She decides how long one is placed in induction, which station, and with whom. She even decides for the ones to be placed under her mentorship. She makes a decision on that. From your experience, how long does it take for a new account representative to become fully independent and run accounts without the assistance of uh, senior managers? Quite a while. 
a new rep might be lucky in landing a small business account. However, the norm in this industry is, in the first year, the new rep works closely with the managers. On the second year, they, works, they, they work with the fellow colleagues. And on the third year, they are expected to be running by themselves. Why so? It takes a while for one to build a good, solid network-based all contact. It also requires time and experience. Considering uh, Michael Olomo, he acquired two accounts with the help of uh, Mrs. Kibo, how would you rate him? A performer or a non-performer? He is definitely a performer. You see, after the account is secure, the, comf the company has to be comfortable enough working with the assigned representative. In this case, the two multinational companies were well content with Michael's work. So he was doing quite well? Compared to the rest, absolutely yes. Are you the type of person that you would uh, recommend for employment or uh, employ in the company that you are in at the moment? Yes, I would. Thank you. No further questions. Were you involved in the performance analysis of the new account reps? No. Why? It was not a part of my job description. What about at your new job? No. Again, it was not a part of my JD. So how would you gauge one's performance if you're not involved in the evaluation? From observation. Observation without fact does not constitute good judgment, does it? It depends on how... How long did it take you to rise from an account rep to a supervisor? I don't remember exactly how long. Three years, am I correct? It could be. I am correct. Julie Dina, from your experience in the advertising industry, how would you classify a promotion after three years in any department? I don't get what exactly you mean. It took you three years to get a promotion. Isn't that considered a slow rise in your industry? Three years and all you become is a supervisor? What are you trying to say? Don't ask me questions. You were a supervisor for a year and a half before leaving and joining another firm. Is that correct? What is she getting at? This is a complete waste of time. I like the fitness words. What is she trying to say? It took Julie Dina five years to rise to a managerial position. She's not exactly a performer and thus cannot objectively appraise Michael Loma's performance while at his circle. She was his immediate supervisor. Six months does not constitute a long enough duration for character and performance analysis. Character analysis? What has that got to do with this case? We are looking into his performance. My client is being accused of sexual harassment by an energy bursting yo-yo. Sorry, a young man who just joined the firm. Yes, his character is up for scrutiny. And performance. If you two keep on like that, I will not need to tune into my TV tonight. I agree, she is quite performing. Miss Kamana is right. His character performance have while in employment at cubes and circles is important to this case. No correlation. I have hope. Ms. Kamona, 